court to bar and she was at, as, uh, denied the access. Her argument is a law, but not a convention. What is her intention is that? She says she has decided to change the narrative. The narrative that every that, that the, the lawyer should not be wearing a job. Then we look at uh, Olasu Bomi Badru that happened in the University of Ibadan International School in 2019. That was in August. Olasu Bomi was suspended from the school. The Muslim Parents Association had a rally and went to chat, went to court to challenge the authority for the infringement of their children's rights. There are many issues in, in that. We have that of Lautech as well. We have the court cases in Lagos uh, on the cause of hijab. Why, why this topic as well? Some are ignorant of, the, of their induction and the Quran and the Sunnah. They have they lack their awareness. They are alienated and they are the rebellion experience among some Muslim and non-Muslim. The experience of rebellion is what we have just explained about the Amaka and some other children that were involved. Women in Niger are assumed to be either foreign. When we are going, when we are taking on our misconception, the lecturer then told us that for us as Muslim, when we see anybody in Niger, we look down at that person. Why is this there? Because they don't know. But when they see us in hijab, they, they, they have their own misconception too. They, we, they, why are they in this kind of hot session in season and they are still putting on hijab? The society perception too are not friendly. And that is why even in the offices, when you get to some offices, they will ask you to remove your hijab before you are given appointment. And hijab, hijab, hijab. What, do, what are we talking about it? It just can be an act of covering up generally, but it's often used to describe head scarf, different color worn by Muslim women that cover the head, their neck, but leave their face clear. It's literally called a screen barrier cover or face that has a moral function accompanied by good behavior befitting public interaction. There are differences between hijab, niqab, and puka. You know, when people put on uh, hijab, do we want us to know the difference between the two. There are a lot of different kinds of, uh, uh, of covering worn by women. We call the first one hijab, which you have treated. If, if, if I go down, you will see the type of hijab I'm talking about. And you will see the type of uh, uh, the niqab we are um, talking about, the, type, the different type of dressing that we are talking about. Then we say, why do we put on the hijab? So the buka is the most concealing of all Islamic veils. It is a one piece veil that covers the face and body, often leaving just a mesh screen to see through. Kima is a long cape like that hangs down to just about the waist. It covers the hair, the neck, and shoulder completely, but leave the face clear. Child Kado is worn by any by many Iranian women when outside their house. It's a full blood or cloak, and it is often accompanied. Why is that? Why? How do we do it? We say that it is an act of obedience to Allah. Because it is an injunction from Allah that, that we should put on a job. In the old all these days, women dress code for both his men and women. For me, I seen a nurse or a doctor, you we will easily identify them that this is a this is a nurse that is coming. 
and this is a medical doctor that is coming, they too have their own identification uh, dress code. What about the legal practitioner? Like what we have spoken about, Amaka, they have their own dress code. The pilots and air hostess, when you enter the, the, the plane, you will easily identify the pilot and differentiate between the air hostess. We have artisans as well, mechanic and all the rest. The mere look of a mechanic, some of them don't wear dirty cloth these days, but you can see, you can identify them from the cloth they put on. I'm still on it, the Islamic dress code. Islamic dress code for women can be disguised as that loose, opaque, not transparent, less provocative, but not with a total concealment of a female adornment that covers the part of one body that are not considered for public being. Our, we were taught that yesterday, which is everything except the face and the hand, and that is for the women. Why do we have that? Is it our own desire to have it this loose or fake or different? No. When you read the Quran 24 verse 31, it says, and say to the believing when women, that's Allah telling the Prophet, وسلم, you should know they should lower down them to lower their gaze and guard their modesty, that they should not display their beauty and ornament except what is ordinarily appear. And they should draw their gaze over their bosom are not to display their beauty except to their husband and their father. If Allah is telling us that we should not display our beauty for, 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 for many reasons, for Fitina and Nordere. If he says we should not, we should draw the veil over our body. Also, it's an injunction from Allah. If you see any woman doing that, having a job, that woman is also fulfilling the injunction of Almighty Allah. As we have for the, for the women, so do we have for men. Allah is telling men here, telling Prophet Salah again, because he said the message he's sending the Prophet is to all mankind. It's not to a man alone or not to a woman. It's a, say to the believing men as well, they should lower their gaze guide their modesty, that we make for greater purity for them. If they do so, Allah is well acquainted with all what they do. I will find this. Nearly our society, culture, profession, our minimum dress code for both is men and women, as will be discussed further. But then, why do we have this misconception as regarding wearing this hijab? Why? Is it really women desire or allied injunction? We have already said it is allied injunction with the Quran 24th verse 30 we have read. And even the, 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 the Adid is always supporting it. This one is credited to Abu Dawood. He said, when a young lady begins to menstruate, it is not proper that anything should be seen of her except her face and hands. The Imam Abu Hanifa corroborated this. That if it's the face and the hand, then we can assume that we use our head to walk, the feet or to walk. Then our feet also should not be our. All this story we have been talking, we say it is Allah's injunction. I want to let, tell a story of asthma. Who is asthma? Asthma is a sister to the prophet's wife, Sallallahu Alaihi Aisha. Asma was uh, with Aisha in the room. The prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi came to Aisha's room, met Asma. The mere getting, the, the mere looking at Asma with the cloth she pulls on, the prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi turned back and left. Aisha realized something was wrong. By coming and leaving, she now asked Asma to leave and call the prophet, prophet of Allah. You came in and left. What was wrong? Then the prophet said, look at Asma. 
the clothes she is wearing is very transparent. It is not good for a woman at that status to wear that kind of clothes. And all the, any clothes that a woman should wear should cover all her body, except the, in just show Aisha the arms and the face. That shows us that our wearing a job is not our own desire, but it's because we are following the induction of Allah and the seerah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then this is another story I want to talk about, the diamond and gold. Do we find diamond on the surface of the heart? Is it like we plug a, a, a cone that we see it? No, before you can get that kind of a thing, you will have to dig the ground. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala buried precious minerals inside the ground of Allah, inside the ground, and cannot be found on the, the surface of the earth. So anything precious is hard to come back. As women should dignify themselves by covering up. And that was a statement more, you remember that Muhammad Ali, the boxer, told the daughter that you must dignify yourself. You must be modest in whatever you do. You must protect yourself. You should not use yourself as a toy for men so that at the end of the day, that respect will be attained by you. That is the dress code for Muslim men and women. And we have heard all the story. Then do we, the dress code in other cultures and religion we want to talk about. In 1 Corinthians, 11.3-13, it says, any woman who prays or professes with her head on birth dishonors her head. Is it the same as it is the same as if her head was shaped? Let her wear a veil. What is that teaching us? It is that even in the Christian, in, in the Christian dome, hijab, it is common, it is better for them to wear hijab. It is an injunction from their, their, uh, their, their book that hijab is compulsory that they should cover their veil. You will see some of them wearing art or scarf. How will you feel? If you see Mother Teresa wearing uh, Mother Teresa on, uh, not, not covering her head, it is, it is not possible. You cannot see the braiding. Is it Shukun she had? Is it the long one she had? No, Mother Teresa is away. And even the, in the, 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 the sisters, the nuns, they also covered their head. Then why do we have hijab? I, I call one the big issue. The big issue is what we want to talk about now. What is that big issue? When you go out, you know you know they want to turn to you. Why do you put on hijab? Why hijab now? They, they, those who are wearing hijab, they were of the hold. Why now? Why now? When we, when our face is clear, we know what is wrong to what, to what is right from what is wrong. Let, let we, we must let them know that we are seeking the pleasure and blessing of Allah by complying with His prescription. It is prescription. It is Allah's prescription that we should wear hijab. And that when you say is a precision and you don't, look, don't follow Allah, precision, there is a reward for it. And if you don't, there's still a reward. It's just like a, like, like a person that has gone to the doctor to complain of headache and you are given that prescription. Is it Panadol in the morning too, in the afternoon too? It is this three. And if you decide not to use any, it is still your own. You, you, you will feel this consequence. So because of the consequences that are attached to Allah's will, that if you follow Allah's will, you will enjoy yourself. You, you will 
get into the world. That is why we, the women, should take it as a pride that if you are confronted, I'm wearing my dad not because of any woman, but because I'm seeking the pleasure of Allah for security or spirituality, then personal and emotional motivation. So in terms of psychological security, let me tell you a story in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in the street of Lagos, if you are going anywhere and you put on your hijab very well, the, those that we call conductors, they will give you enough respect. They will say, I like they are coming. They will not even touch you because of their sense of security or spirituality that is in it. And there is a great conviction that wearing hijab is the judgment of God and not of men. We are talking about that. If it's the judgment of God we are looking for, then our own hijab is necessary. When you see Elijah, the two Elijah coming from, by the time they see themselves are far off, they will be telling themselves, Salamu Alaikum, Salam. That is the greetings of peace. And that is enough for us to, to follow Allah's injunction. And it's a creation to interact with anybody at any level. With your hijab, you can interact with anybody at any level. This is in it, it, it is physical. It is not the air. It is not in the in the mind, and it is not in the brain nor the spirit. It is in the injunction of Allah. Then another another one is that we, there is this impression that uh, women can be used as a beauty pageant sometimes. Where do you see them? You cannot find. Any, any woman with, uh, you cannot find a need about you call them in any beauty competition. It's not done, you can't see. Even the, the newly uh, uh, big whatever like that they do, you cannot see in, in, in their collection, you cannot see anybody that is a Muslim, even men there that can be called, because there they cannot even observe their salah. So it is not possible, you cannot be told with, or flat around if you are putting on your hijab. It, they will not even ask you to come and join anyone. They will not even ask you to come and be, to come and apply for beauty trophies. And that is the essence of a hijab. It reduces labeling and analyzing women under category of appearance. You know, if you put on your tight clothes, so, so then the, 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 your brazier and everything, person can identify you straight forward that you are using size, size 10. Even your club, this woman is size 12. It is size 14 because they, are, they see your, your figure in the clothes you are putting on. Then using the job is a creation of an atmosphere where those who interact with them do it at a level that's beyond physicality. It is, it is beyond all the, 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 the respect, the atmosphere where you are is an interaction with respect. Then it reduces conscious anxiety and what it looks like, but increases God consciousness. When you put on hijab, how do I look like? Is it, is it, is, am, I, am I beautiful? Um, am I this, uh, that it reduces that. It also diminishes insecurity in the company of men when comparing attractiveness of one to the other. You know, men of today, when they see women around, they will be start comparing. Look at this, it is this. It, it, it is this cloth which he, is, he has. They look at the, the, the sizes, the butter, the everything. They, they will look at you and size you. It diminishes this. And we have self-control over public interaction. When you put on your exam, you dignify yourself. You have your control on your body. You have your control on what you do. And it decreases depression and harmful behavior in women and girls who are not socially perceived as beautiful. Or Allah is, is, the, is all in all, in all, in everything. He created us differently. 
as we have in men and women, we have some that are beautiful. We have also some that are not. But you cannot, you can't differentiate this when you put on your own loose hijab, untransparent hijab, and that increases social bond between um, women. It fosters more social, spiritual, and intellectual interaction between men and women. There are these frequently asked questions that will be asked when you are with or with non-Muslim. Even the Muslim who don't even know what hijab is all about, who are not aware of the injunction of Allah. Let me tell you, is it not black chakras or bukas that you put on? Is it? This one is usually one in, there's no specific color is in prescribing Islam for hijab. You can wear any color, whether black, green, white and blue and others. You can wear any color. But when they ask you, is it not well, a story of putting on black, black, black? No, it is not black. Allah has given us the free will to choose which any of the color that we can put on. When we look at our at the gold, that it is only one color. But, but by, by, by the wisdom of Allah, by, by virtue of our own creation, He gave us the, the ability to choose which of the colors we want to have. That is, may, may Allah be blessed for this. Be praised for all this. Then why are people of other faith not wearing hijab? I've mentioned that. Holy Mary. When you see Holy Mary, you watch Holy Mary put on. It is, it, it is more or like, like the one we have in our own religion. You can never see the nun, the Catholic sisters, in anything other than to covering to cover their hair. This is a type of oppressive. It's not oppressive to women. It's not oppressive to any woman. It is our own business. It is our own self-conviction. And that is why we are wearing it. We are not being oppressed anyhow. So if anybody is saying it is oppressive, let that person know it is not oppressive in any way. Then, is the way not restrictive to women? No, there is, it is not, it is not, there is no restriction in this one as demonstrated by the great roles Muslim women play. With their, with their hijab on, they still go to the offices. Is there any restriction? They interact with anybody. With any, uh, when they go out in the society, anywhere, men and women, they interact. The way we put on is no restriction. Because we have the one every time. They, that question may be thrown to you, yes. It must be jab one and every time. Every time when you are in public domain. But when you are within the when you are in your house, in your family, then you and elderly people, then you are free to remove your hijab in your own home with your children and your husband. But not definitely not in the public. Is it the responsibility of Muslim women alone to wear, to put on, to cover their head? Is a capital no. How do we identify our men, Muslim men? When you see them putting on their caps, you see them putting on their turban, then we can, that's a distinction between the dress code of Muslim women and men. And it is not only women that should cover, men also put on calves and turban. We even look at the video women where they have uh, uh, their own address, especially. Can hijab be forced upon women? No. It is a free will, like I've rightly mentioned. 
on doctor's prescription. It is a free, we can't be forced on any woman that you should, you should use hijab by force. Even though our unawareness of injunction are there, all we need to do is not to condemn anybody, but to advise and encourage our women who are not putting it up. Tell them, educate them that hijab is an injunction and there are a lot of benefits you will gain from wearing hijab. Is a woman without hijab a bad or weak person? Sincerity, Allah knows that. He knows, Allah knows that uh, he knows one's mind. He's the only one that knows what is weak or what is bad or what is not. So a weak person or bad person is not our own. It is sincerity of purpose. It is, uh, uh, if they are, they are not aware, they may not put it on, but it is our own sincerity that makes us to know whether uh, we want to wear a job or not. It is not a question of being bad or being weak as a person, but it is our duty to educate and to uh, encourage our women who are not wearing it to do so. Women wearing a job not very, very hot. No, it depends on the clothing. Even the Cancer Advisory Council said the long clothing that we put on prevents cancer because you are not exposed to sun. Our body is not exposed to sun. So for that, the long clothing is, is better for us. And that, that, that's not enough. It depends on the cloth you put on. If you put on a light cloth, there is no way, there is no way you will feel very odd. The air will go in. It depends on the type of cloth you put on. It, then if you are in, 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 uh, in Amatan, the type of cloth you put on during Amatan period is quite different than what you put on when it's that sunny. So there, there can be a cover clothes done in Amata apart from all hijab. Quran specify covering bust, bosom, not the hair, whatever face and the face. Yes, Quran specify that. But it's implied that we should cover our hair and our face and, and, and feet. We have read from the Quranic verses. We have known from the hadith that uh, we should cover uh, that, that, that when, when the prophet was telling the, the Aisha that every, the woman should cover all her body except the face and the hands. And the Adit of Abu, uh, Abu Anifa corroborated that the feet also is not. If the face and hands can be left, then why do some Muslim women not wear the hijab? They may not be unaware. They may be unaware of it by not knowing the injunction. They may not know the significant benefit. They may be in a situation where they are in, a, in, a, in a, an environment, cultural environment, those in the North now, they are in an environment, whether they are Christian, whether you are Muslim or anybody, it is a norm there that you put on the, 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 their cover, clothes, hijab. So whether, uh, so it is no women, no, why do some Muslim women that are not wearing hijab may be in an essence of not knowing the intention of Allah. It provides maximum interaction, hijab, because with it, it minimizes problems of fitting on of men. And we have the hijab about women having the respect for others. When you see people with hijab, women with hijab, there is this respect. They, uh, they respect each other. And that is when I said, when I mentioned the earlier on, that when we see, we see ourselves, the Muslim women in hijab, it is the salamu alaikum that comes after it. And that is the word of peace. 
is the job not repressive of one natural sexual power. Then, or oh, even non sexuality is a cause of infection. If you say the job is a repressive of natural sexual power, if you go, if you, if you, if you go into all restraint sexual, it's a cause of infections. You know what, what happens during the head era? Infections of head. So it is not a repressive at all. Even women prefers to be, to have, in, 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 to have sexual with sexual interaction with only their husband alone to avoid pitina and to have to, to avoid being infected. My brothers and sisters in Islam, we have gone through the hijab since morning, and we have told you all the differences between the hijab, the ikmo, and all the rest. While concluding, I want to appeal that for those of us that are using hijab now, we have known that uh, it, is, uh, it is an injunction from Allah. And whatever you do to, uh, for Allah, you will gain the reward. Let us con continue with our uh, use of hijab. Let us advise, encourage those that are not using it to please do so. I want to encourage us not to condemn anybody who are not using a job. But because there are a mind now, uh, uh, so there are some minds that are feeble. They may not want to do so because of the, but what people will tell them outside. Look at this one. He has joined them. He's not using the job before. He's not using it. What people say about you, about them, maybe the may be the reason for this restriction. All we need to do is just to encourage. Only all we need to do is just to appeal. And Muslim women should know that they wear hijab, not to reduce the obligation of men's self-control, or not because anyone is telling them to do so, and but because of their regard for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Moreover, there is pride in implementing Allah's will, we have known that, for the benefit, benefit of themselves and society as a whole. I've been talking about some minutes ago, for anywhere I've made a mistake, may Allah forgive all of us. For any benefit you want to get from what we have gained here, May Allah make it beneficial to all of us as well. Thank you for listening. And I know, inshallah, the next time we see ourselves, we must have changed our mind by following the injunction of Allah and putting on our hijab. Shukra. Assalamu alaikum.